Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all in for no fluff. And today we're talking about the MIDI inline editor, which is a really cool Reaper function that lets you make quick edits to your MIDI items right from the arrange view. And to get to the MIDI inline editor, by default, you can press E or you can right click on any item or number of items, go to open items and editor, open an inline editor. The default hotkey for that is E and I have changed that to control E because I use E for editing. Hit it and you get a little thing like this. So, all right, see you later. But you know, all right, let's talk about it a little bit. So this is called the MIDI inline editor. And it's cool when you want to make kind of like quick edits to a bunch of MIDI items without having to open your MIDI editor window. If all I want to do is, for example, change the velocity of a bunch of notes or just mute one MIDI note, I can just quickly do it from here rather than open another window. It's also useful for hybrid projects. For example, here I have a bass line that I have recorded on this item and then my drums are MIDI. So because my bass has a little bit of a swing to it and the swing kind of changes, maybe in this case is easier easier for me to come edit my MIDI here. And then from here, I can kind of by eye line up my kicks to the beat, maybe even my hi-hats from here. And of course, if you load up any CC lanes from here, which you can just go on the bottom until your cursor changes to this and bring it up. All my mouse modifiers for that also work here. So that's fun. Also, if you're just writing a little bit of MIDI or maybe you're modifying your chords and stuff, you can just use this window if you're into that sort of thing. So I can very quickly using my kind of normal mouse modifiers do a bit of editing. Now I have a bunch of chords here. And when it comes to CC lanes, again, you can kind of also have it so that you only see the CC lane here. So maybe if you're kind of changing the expression based on something that's happening in the audio part of your project, maybe you want your filter to kind of react to the attack of the bass or something like that. So you can just kind of like trace around that as you look at your waveforms. Once you open an item in your inline editor, you get this mini toolbar here. And unfortunately, as far as I know, you can't change this. There are five little things here. The first one is the ability to have the MIDI CC information move with the note events. If I turn this off, they become independent of one another, as you can see. The next option works similar to fold in Ableton and stuff. So if I hit it, I will only see the notes that have any MIDI data on them and all the other notes are folded out. With the next item, which looks like a square by default, if I hit it, I will toggle between the different MIDI viewing modes, blocks, the triangles and the diamonds. And of course, these will have hotkeys as well, which by default are option five, six, and seven. This is really useful. This is like a scroll. So up and down will scroll and then left and right will zoom. So I like to fold and it's usually very small. They make it a little bigger. And of course, all our hotkeys from a range view works here too. So for example, I can shift and double click to set a time selection and then I can go command and page up to zoom to that time selection. I can also, if I want to see this really big, I can select it and go exclamation mark and I'm here. I can still use this to scroll up and down. I can also do option up and down. You get to work with this hybrid setup where some of your zooming and scrolling functions all work. You can still meter your project easily. You can play with sense, but you also are able to see and kind of quickly make edits to your MIDI information. Your mouse modifiers work the same as, you know, the MIDI editor. So if you're in the piano roll, same mouse modifiers. If you're in a CC lane, same mouse modifiers. However, this window has its own action, this section, which is the MIDI inline editor. And here you have a bunch of other actions that you can set. I'm pretty sure all of these already exist in the MIDI editor window, but of course the MIDI editor window is a lot more robust. It gives you a lot more actions. And my favorite are these actions, JS mouse editing, and there's a bunch of options here that I have assigned to different keys. These keys are taken up in my main section. They're also taken up in my MIDI editor section. So for very special kind of like CC lane stuff, I can always come to my MIDI inline editor and use its untapped resources. So these actions deserve their own tutorial, but just to kind of give you a quick overview, I can kind of warp things this way. I can also warp them two ways, arch and tilt. I can do these ramps. There's also this multi-tool which is very useful. I can kind of stretch the range. I can stretch the duration. I can move the whole thing up and down. So we'll look at JS mouse editing in a future video. It's not something that I use super often, if I'm being honest, but every once in a while, I do enjoy using it. People who are Pro Tools transplants, Pro Tools has a similar thing where you can do MIDI editing in a range. Of course, Pro Tools makes up for it by being super annoying and just an overall MIDI editing nightmare. But this feature from Pro Tools is pretty cool. So if you want to recreate it, there you go. So if you didn't know about this, you do now. And I hope you find it useful and maybe you can find some 
creative ways of using the inline editor for certain hotkeys and actions that are otherwise kind of taken up in the MIDI editor or in your range view. And you can obviously work with certain hybrid setups of audio and MIDI using your hotkeys and all of that from there. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you like the work I do, please donate to me through buymeacoffee.com. The link of that will be in the description. Thanks to Mpinchin for donating. I saw the donation after I had already recorded and released a bunch of videos. So a very belated thanks to you, Mpinchin. Thanks to a couple of people who bought my album on Bandcamp Friday. That's super nice. And thanks for all the support. It really means a lot to me and keeps me going. So I hope to see you all soon again. Bye-bye.